Thank you very much for joining me today. And yes, today is the day uh, where the mighty scrambler gets some new tyres. I gotta say, I'll be so glad to change the uh, <laughs> the boots on this bike. The OE tyres, for me, they were never the best, even in development. Uh, the Metzlers didn't quite stack up against. Another tyre that we tested against, and they're the tyres I'm going to go for today, and that's the Continentals TKC 70s. These tyres have uh, definitely had their day. They've definitely got the miles out of them. They've done just under 6,000 miles now. I mean, there's plenty of grip left in the back. It's a little bit squared off, but then it was a little bit squared off when I got the bike nearly a year ago. And... Uh, I do love this bike, so damn beautiful she is, so today, today she's getting a new set of tyres, so come along with me, let's see uh, how much they cost, and what I like once they're fitted. So another thing I've got to look at changes today is the key in the bloody keyless, bloody key that's not a keyless key. Uh, cause it says it's getting low, so I better get that sorted today before I end up somewhere and I can't bloody start the bike. It is a very windy day with a lot of grey overcast clouds, but <laughs> it's bloody warm. As you can see, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm rocking my new road skin uh, hoodie, and I've got to say I bloody love this hoodie. I've got my road skin jeans on. Oh, I tell you. Road skin are definitely the best products out there for casual riding, that's for sure. Uh, I love the style, I love the quality, and you know what? I love the bloody people that sell it. Just a disclaimer, I didn't get it for free, I didn't get my jeans for free, I paid for it my own good money, and I'm glad to do so, because there's nothing better than supporting a small business. I say small business! Road skin now have grown and grown and grown, and Ian, Nicky and Mark, work so hard and you know it, it it just shows in the fact that where they are now with this product it's a triple a rated um jacket same with my jeans and i tell you what comfort it's shower proof bloody love it so yeah go and get yourself a road skin jacket hoodie pair of jeans anything pair of gloves i've even got a lovely leg bag and I've wanted a leg bag for a long, long time, but I could never find one that I thought was quality enough for me to wear. And I bloody love it, so I bought that as well. So I got all them at the ABR. And uh, you'll see them all over the country at different bike shows. So yeah, go and get yourself a road skin product, you know. In fact, go buy it all, because it's bloody amazing. I wish I'd have bought the gloves. Uh, my good lady got the gloves, because um, she bought herself some jeans, a hoodie, a leg bag and uh, they gave her a free pair of gloves as well so I wish I'd have bought the gloves because uh, looking at hers the quality is stupendous anyway I digress where am I heading today you can see I've not got the bodsy he stuck his head out of the bed this morning and went you could do one mate it's a bit bloody cloudy and windy out there for me he went to the toilet and he got blown away so that was him done and dusted so uh, well, let's go this way I've been this way for ages through the Cozil. So yeah, um, where was I? Where bloody was I? So, now I'm headed over to uh, Cozil today to a place called Wheelhouse Tyres. Uh, and it is new tyre day. Now, I hear a lot of people moaning and groaning about the Metzlers. And I don't actually find them that bad. Yes, they move around a little bit on the wheel, you know, the carcass a little bit moving, but I quite like that. And maybe, because I did so many miles on Metzlers, because that's been the OE fitment for quite a few Triumph bikes for quite a few years. You know, the Tiger 800, the Tiger 900, Tiger 1200, um, and the Scramblers. So, no, I don't think they're as bad as people think, but, you know, that's the thing with tyres. Tyres is personal preference. You know, everybody keeps going on about Dunlops. Unfortunately, <laughs> I had one bad experience on Dunlops, and I can never have a pair of Dunlops. Because as soon as I say Dunlop, I start twitching. And it's just because I had one bad experience. You know, they might be the best tyres in the world, but not for me. So, the other tyre that that I sort of... Well, there was two really in the running. There was the Pirelli Scorpion. And boy, are they expensive at £365 fitted. 
Um, I mean, this bike's all over the place. These tyres are absolutely shot. Um, but the other tyre that we tested uh, in development on this bike, and it was the same on the Tiger 900, was the Continentals. And I really like the Continentals. I like the feel, the feedback, the grip, dry and wet. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I've decided to put on the Mighty Scrambler. Set of Continentals, TKC 70s, front and back. I'm more of a tarmac warrior than an off-road king and uh, to be fair, if I'm off-road it's because I've come off the road. I still like the idea of having the option to do a bit of gravel tracking, a bit of green laning if I so want to. So, the Continentals are a 60-40, 60% road, 40% off-road and that will suit me down to the ground. Time will tell if they've come on, time will tell if they've digressed and got worse. We will see. So that's where I'm heading, <laughs> let's just enjoy the rest of the ride of these shocking tyres and uh, I'll see you when I get there. Bikers World, another damn good place for you bikers to come get your motorcycle paraphernalia and kit. Kai owns this lovely guy. The guy that manages it for him. He's a lovely guy and all. Oh, here we go, new tyre day has arrived. Ah, that's it, the new tyres are on. What can I say? Oh, straight away. Oh, you just, you got to love a set of new tyres. They just instantly transform a bike to feeling brand new again. Uh, I mean, those tyres weren't unrideable, but do you know what? I'm only like three or four miles in now. And uh, you can instantly just feel the difference on how this bike's handled and the feedback it gives you from the front. And they're not even scrubbed in yet. Did find it quite ironic that, uh, you know, the service was a good service. He has put a little scuff on my wheel and I did point it out to him. And, you know, I get it, it's probably part and parcel of changing a tyre. But, at no point did he tell me, now take your time, son. Don't be going hell for leather, they have a new set of tyres. That, <laughs> for me, that's no problem. I've scrubbed more tyres in than I can remember. But... For any new riders out there, it's most important that you scrub your tyres in when you've had a new set of tyres fitted. Now that doesn't mean you've got to bimble everywhere at 10 miles an hour. It just means you need to be very smooth and uh, just take your time. Don't be throwing it into the bends like you normally would. You know, they say 100 mile, but to be fair, I've always found about 30 mile in down a twisty road they're pretty much scrubbed in good enough for me but yes so I went and had a look in uh, CCM uh, motorcycles which is next door and they got three scramblers in there as you can see and they'd all got different tyres on so you had the uh, the newer one with the Metzlers uh, the middle one had the Dunlops and the first one the blue one had got um, Scorpion trails on which to be fair look more like a road bias tire than anything I would say probably 90% road and maybe 10% a bit of gravel So I'm glad I went for the profile and tire that I went for like I say in development We did test this tire against the Metzler and for me. I did like this tire uh, Hence it's one I've gone back to When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Wow. Oh.
here we have it. Oh, I love this bike. The beautiful Scrambler 1200XC. Do you know what? Every time I ride this bike, it just makes me smile. And i got to say, I'm loving the new rubber. I mean, just look at that tread pattern. That's just pure sexiness. So, yeah, these are the Continental TKC 70s. And I've got to say, already the confidence that these tyres are giving me is unbelievable uh, the transformation I mean the Metzlers for me were never a bad tyre but they weren't the best tyre yes they were the OE fitment and I can remember back in the day you know even on the Tiger 900 we always do a tyre comparison test with a couple of other brands and the Continentals for me always shone through as the better tyre but unfortunately you know no matter what feedback we gave them I'm guessing it went on price and, and volume of tyres that they were buying they always went for a Metzler like I say the Metzlers aren't a bad tyre but for me they're not the best and tyres were a personal thing you know what some one person likes the other person will hate I mean I hate Dunlop and there's nothing against Dunlop it's just I had one bad experience with one bad tyre so yeah, tyres were a personal choice and i got to say, I do like these tyres. They're on there, they were £304 fitted, um, which you know what, they're not the cheapest, they're not the most expensive, but I love them. So uh, yeah, I've done about 30-40 miles now scrubbing them in, um, and already you, you know, that you can just tell the transformation. It's like any new tyre, when you put a new tyre on the bike, the bike just feels brand new. Uh, just the way it flicks into the corners, the feedback the front gives you, the feedback the rear gives you. Absolutely loving them. So, I will make a future video when we're a few thousand miles in just to see if I'm still loving these tyres. So, thank you very much for joining me today. As ever, you're all stars. Thank you to the new subscribers and old that have stuck with us over the last two and a half, three months, even though we haven't put any new content out. It's most appreciated. Obviously, like I said earlier, if you go back to the previous video that came out before this, I'll uh, explain to you there exactly what's going on in my life for the last three months. But we're back! And, you know, I look forward to making more content for you beautiful people out there. So, until then, stay safe, live your best life! Woohoo! Let you go, baby. I just wanna tell you that. No, 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 no. Yeah. All of my friends say.